Welcome to B on B. Today we are going to do a new thing we have called the Lego Evo. Here we are going to look at theme, sub themes and other things related and see how they have changed over the years. And in this episode we are going to look at the basic brick itself. But before we start digging deeper, why not take the time to like the video and afterward you can leave a comment on the break call with ideas to themes you'd like me to take a look at. Also click the subscribe button to stay updated with our videos. As most of you know, Lego did not start out by making plastic bricks. But they made wooden toys like a dog on wheels. But in 1946, did a new type of machine that has just come to Denmark as part of the Marshall Help. And for those of you who do not know what the Marshall Help was, it was an economical help from the US to rebuild Europa after the World War II. And this new thing that had come to Denmark was the induction molding machine that was invented almost 50 years before but became popular in the late 1940s due to the need to make products faster and cheaper. With this machine, Lego began to make the foundation for the bricks we know today. The first version of this was the automatically binding brick that was first sold only in Denmark and in the start only came in four colors. But this was much more flexible and did not stick together as well as the bricks we have today. Also the locking part was missing from the bottom of the brick. Also, there was no sets. You bought them as a collection of bricks, just like you buy wooden bricks to young children and toddlers. The system of Lego did not show up before almost 10 years later. At this point we have already gotten windows and doors. So there was foundation for 28 sets to begin with. But with the new knob and locking system that came in 1958, the door was open to the future. And with the slope bricks that could be used as roof bricks, it was possible to make full houses out of own bricks two years after. It was possible to print numbers on the bricks directly and thereby a town was born. In 63 there was a shift of the plastic that bricks was made out of. From that point of there was made out of the much harder ABS. This was also the year where the bricks was placed for the first time in a box with building instruction as a model kit, just like we know today. In 69, the brick grew much bigger into the Duplo series for children under the age of 5. And just three years later, the models began to form into the Legoland sets which was in the beginning only cars, but later also ships, castles and spaceships. The old 4x2 brick stayed the same, but there did came much more special parts too, and these was made to fit and lock together with the old one. And that is why you today can take a brick directly out of the machine and put a brick from 65 on top of it and they will lock together. 
and for the main brick. It has not seen big changes since then. And the future of the brick lies in the production wave. As we see the world turning to get greener and greener, the petroleum based bricks may someday be in the past, but the brick will still be here, just in a newer and cleaner version. But this was my way to look on the little brick that we know all over the world today. And if you like to see what you can make out of this brick, why not check out the 24 hour race car or some of my other little videos. But that was all for today. Remember, until next time, just keep building!